Now to Morrison, where a global pandemic didn't stop Bandemir Speedway from hosting the Brakes Plus 4th of July Jet Car Nationals or a fireworks show. Now that's despite a court order demanding people there social distance. Our Connor McHugh is live outside the Speedway. Connor? Yeah, Kathy, we're told that fireworks show is about a half hour behind schedule because of weather, so it should be getting started here within the next 10 minutes or so. When that happens, it's likely to feel a little bit like a normal 4th of July here, even though it clearly is not. Tonight, there are strict guidelines, and it remains to be seen if the county believes those guidelines were followed. This is what the 4th of July event looked like tonight from the lens of Copter 4. The Speedway originally hoped to fill its 20,000 seat venue for this annual event. But earlier this week, the Jeffco Health Department stepped in with some concerns. It went on to send a letter to the Speedway and then ask a judge to grant a temporary restraining order. That order, which was granted, caps the number of guests at 175 and requires social distancing. This evening, the crowd appeared much larger than 175 people from the view above. You could see, though, that every other row is empty and signs inside encourage social distancing. There was also this sign at the gates saying, enter venue at your own risk. Jeffco Public Health did not respond to our phone calls tonight to see if the Speedway was following the rules. Here's what people watching from afar had to say. It's pretty huge. Um, not somewhere I'd like to be. <laughs> Just because of all the, the, the whole coronavirus stuff going on. It's good to see people out again. I, I hope the whole thing gets to be where people can be out again like we used to be able to. <laughs> now, while Morrison police officers are not in charge of enforcing that public health order, they are in, uh, in charge of keeping people safe here. The chief tells us that the biggest priority right now is making sure people aren't pulled over on the side of the road because there are so few sanctioned fireworks shows. They're making sure that people move out of those areas so no one gets hit by a traffic. Live tonight in Morrison, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First. Thank you, Connor. And we 